Now you're suggesting that through tenant management, people become enfranchised, become empowered, become competent in the society, and have a desire to stay there because they themselves have a, uh, may even have an economic investment in being there. This is no longer temporary housing. And their income and their enfranchisement is such that they could live in another kind of housing. Should they deny that housing unit that they're living in to some disenfranchised family? The, the other uh, reason to me the public housing has failed is because the housing authorities are paid for vacant units. I am absolutely positively against that. I think that there is no incentive from the housing authority if they're going to be paid for vacant units. There's no incentive for them to get the units rented. If the federal government's going to pay for, pay for a vacant unit. That's why there's so many vacant units in Chicago public housing. Because the federal government since 1974 has paid the housing authority for vacant units. One of the problems I've had ever since I've been on the, the, the board is uh, how one can be just a policy-making body and yet be responsible for everything that goes on. And uh, to me, the most important thing then is that uh, you have a director that you really trust. That's the only way I can see that it can work. The one function that is ongoing at all times is the fact that it's a landlord. And the, the, there, there's two problems with that. The number one, there is no clear concept of management. If you look at the public housing budgets, they have deputy, and deputy, deputy, and deputy, 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 and executive sec secretary, and executive assistant secretary, and assistant to the executive secretary. That's where the money goes. And then finally somebody says, oh, we got to do something for the tenants. Because after all, this money is for public housing. And then maybe 10% of the budget is used to buy some windows, some doors, some paint, no stoves, no refrigerators, very few maintenance workers, no security. You know what I'm saying? So there's nothing left to operate the development off of because all the money is going toward the administration. And that is a fact. And I challenge any housing authority that's hearing me talking I challenge them to say that I'm not telling the truth. Go through their budgets and let them explain their budgets to you, and you will find that 85 to 90% of their budgets is fat. We, in, in St. Louis, you have a woman who uh, is very good at publicizing herself and publicizing what she's done there, and the project that she has uh, managed uh, and worked with and trained people for uh, obviously is much better than it was before. But the problem, I, w what we need is more studies. I suppose the hope and the dream would be that uh, there would be tenant management in as many buildings as possible. I think until uh, the people in the housing developments uh, become concerned with their own welfare, and that certainly is, is important, and I think we should all work towards that in starting a little bit in Chicago. I think it's too slow, but I, I think it's the only hope. Well, I want to argue. The fact of the matter is that tenant management is a social activity.